really awesome for you guys to do if you love skincare but you love doing it on a budget and making it at home I have found four of the most amazing peel off face masks that you can do at home I'm talking about the ones that you put on and you see all of that horrible stuff that gets stuck in your pores come out of your skin and to me there is nothing more satisfying than that when I'm doing a face mask and they can get pretty expensive so I've put two to the test that I've seen on Pinterest and Instagram that look so cool and also two that I swear by and I've been doing for a while now and I just love how my skin feels so I wanted to share these tips and tricks with you guys. If you guys are new to my channel then I'm Becky and I make beauty, lifestyle and hacks videos every single week so I'm going to leave a little link below to my channel Talk Becky Talk. If you're new here or you've just been here before and you've forgotten to subscribe that link's going to be in the info. Okay so let's put these face masks to the test. The first up, one of my favourites that I've been using for a few years, the Charcoal Blackhead Nose Strip. I get a lot of blackheads around my nose so this is really good at pulling out all of those blackheads and you can use this all over your face or in areas that you get a build up of those. It's super easy to do so you just need to get some gelatin and some powdered charcoal. Slowly heat the gelatin and then add the charcoal and I'm going to leave a list of the ingredients and also the measures down in the info bar so don't worry too much about taking it all in as you're watching. So you mix it together, wait for it to cool a little bit but you do need to work fairly fast with this so it doesn't dry and then put a layer over your nose. I can already feel like the gelatin setting so you pretty much have like five minutes to get on your face before it is turned like into jelly. And now we have to wait so it's definitely like a relaxing charcoal feel. I've left it for 20 minutes and it still feels pretty nice it's just gone really rubbery um, so time for the peel and see what's happened. No pain no game. It just feels like a nose strip. It pulls out every single blackhead. It's so gross you can probably see, but it's really good. Okay, next up we're gonna do the rainbow blackhead face mask. The idea behind this is crazy because you are putting glue on your face. It works in the same way as the blackhead charcoal one that it pulls out every single one of those blackheads and it looks insane. Like it looks amazing when people have uploaded it. I wanted to add a bit of a twist and add coconut oil because I love coconut oil for the skin. It feels so soft. So I've tested this not only for the blackheads but also to give you an extra benefit of the face mask for your skin. So you're going to need some washable paints, make sure they're non-toxic so the paint's not bad for your skin and then again non-toxic glue. Glue isn't amazing in terms of you're not going to get any benefits from it but it's also not going to damage your skin if you get this one. Mix the paint and the glue together and as I said I added a little bit of coconut oil which made such a difference. Oh this feels so weird. <laughs> I can smell the coconut which is nice but I can also smell acrylic paint <laughs> so it's not completely hidden like the horrific acrylic paint smell. I'm gonna let this dry I can already feel this side like tightening up slightly. God, this has taken so long to dry. I've taken it off my lips because it was like cracking up and going to my mouth and it did not taste nice. Let's see if this works. Oh my God, I'm gonna end up waxing my hair. Ah. Oh, oh my God, that bit hurts. It is like a mini face wax, like, I guess this is gonna get rid of a lot of the hairs on your face. The coconut oil I can feel, like it's it's oily underneath, which has definitely made it, I think, a lot easier. Oh my God, it's pulled every single blackhead out. That is so gross. Oh my God. Like, that is ridiculous in terms of how long it takes and how ridiculous the concept of painting your face is, but my skin has never felt this, like it's like, it's just like silk, like there's just nothing there. There's literally not a single pore 
like filled with anything anymore. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so I took the idea of the rainbow face mask and I wanted to do something rose gold. Like, wouldn't it be awesome if we could create a face mask that's rose gold? I prefer using gelatin to glue. So I created this with gelatin, some rose gold paint, and of course my old favorite coconut oil. Oh my gosh, this is like my dream color. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I look like gold man. I want this to work so much. I'm gonna Instagram this. This is amazing. This feels so good coming off. That is ridiculous. That is my favorite one. That feels so nice and soft. And I think that's definitely my favorite over the rainbow one, less like mess. And you're still gonna get Instagram goals of like a selfie. And last but not least, the egg white peel. Again, a crazy idea because you're putting egg on your face. But the benefits of egg white for your skin are really good. It's really rich in vitamins and minerals. This is super easy to do as well. You just split an egg, put the egg white in one cup and the egg yolk in another. Save the egg yolk, don't throw it away. You can use it for cooking on another day. And then you just wanna paint a layer of egg white onto your face. Okay, and then you wanna get tissue paper and stick that over where you've put the egg white. You can do this in just one sheet, but I find it easier to break off like little sections and then do it like this, because it just seems to fit my face better. And then you want to get the egg white again and then put another layer over the top. My face has gone so hard. Up in one piece. Ah! Oh, that feels so good. This is even picking out some of my blackheads. They're so small. Like, I don't think you'll see them on camera, but that's amazing. I just think this one's so clever. Like, it's so random. The egg gets all your pores out of it. It feels so good. I wouldn't say it's as good as the other blackhead mask, but it definitely pulled out a lot of the dirt from my skin. It was definitely a lot softer as well. Plus my skin felt really, really soft and nourished after using this one. So there you have it, four crazy DIY peel off face masks. I wanna see your Instagrams and tweets if you try this at home yourself, guys. I'm gonna leave all the ingredients and the methods below and just have fun with it. There are so many ingredients at home that we can use. And remember, if you're new here or you've been here before and you just haven't subscribed, I'm gonna leave a link below to my channel, Talk Becky Talk, where you can head on over and there are plenty more hacks videos that you can watch. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.